Uh, good afternoon, KCA listeners, and good afternoon and good evening to those listening to us on the live stream link. This is the Kathleen Well Show. I'm Kathleen, your host. I'm on KCAA, 10 a- AM 1050, the stationer that leaves no listener behind. You know, when I was driving into the radio station this afternoon, I was listening about the unaccompanied children who have come in from Central America, uh, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, to um, come into the United States. They've crossed the border because they believe, at least this, this is what the um, radio host was saying, they believe that Obama has given the impression to those in Central America that there is an open border and they will be welcomed with open arms in America. So we have unaccompanied children, children 10, 11, 12 years old and teenagers coming into the, into America from Central. Before last, I wanted to have them on again because we're going to explore this question. Why are black Black folks so religious. I think it's important that we explore it. I think it's important that we ask the question: Is it benefiting blacks to be so religious? So, Jeremiah, welcome to the Kathleen Wells Show. Hey, thanks for having me on again, Kathleen. How are you? How are you? You're. Ve- I'm very good. I'm so delighted to have as to what the government has done to make black folks more religious. Well, let me let me say this. And, and I can provide you with some details, but let me kind of uh, uh, walk through some necessary steps before we get there so we can understand what's really going on with this whole obsession with religion. Blacks have had a long history of abuse in this country that has led to a need to be loved. Uh, Jesus provides that need. Uh, although there are no... Uh, there is no historical evidence that this man ever existed, only in the Bible. Uh, we, our abuse has led to a need to be loved, and Jesus provides it because Jesus is all-inclusive. Jesus loves you whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're homeless, or living in a mansion, whatever, according to the Bible. And because of this, again, because of this history of abuse, we seek not only to be loved, but also liked and respected. We want to be liked during the civil rights. We want to sit on the front of, you know, early to mid-1700s, allow you to operate churches or spiritual religious gatherings on your own without white supervision. You had to preach the pie in the sky, that the rewards would only be found in the next life. You had to preach uh, the doctrine that, whenever it talked about masters of slaves, that it was talking about you. And you had to preach the fact that you must work hard and you must accept your plight as a slave. And we had to, because of the law, we had to convince the slave masters that we had heard the voice of God and seen the light in order to receive less harsher punishment. But it, So we pretended initially but at some point in time, we forgot that we were pretending. So the question of why blacks are so religious ultimately comes down to the same thing that is at the root of other black obsessions and pathologies and societal ills, and that's racism, which, by the way, is purely an economic issue. If blacks were doing better, Kathleen, as a group, economically speaking, if blacks were in a more competitive position in terms of ownership, world trade, business production, and control over, you know, uh, our resources, we would be far, far less religious. But at the heart of being deeply religious and relying on faith to serve you is being financially powerless in the system in which you live. People who can solve their problems by writing a check have less of a need for faith. The United States government, you have to remember, participated on every level. It couldn't have happened without their direct involvement and participation on every level of our demise and disintegration. Chattel slavery, uh, KKK, which a lot of government, you know, officials were, 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 were head statesmen and all that kind of stuff, head clansmen, Jim Crow, uh, the initiation of crack cocaine within our communities where the CIA and the government knew about it, and there's much uh, evidence to support that. 
they took part in the bid. So now when you have, you know, what, what, what the, the question now is, what do you do? What happens when, when, when people are, you know, abused by their government? They seek another government. And this government came in the form of religion. Mm-hmm. So what we lear- what we realize is that knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. And if people knew certain things, they would do things differently. For instance, you're saying that religion was.